Hello, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the fact there haven't been a whole lot of videos recently. Uh, the major reason for that is that I'm actually working for two production companies right now, and they're actually paying me to make films and stuff, and so taking the time to do it for free for YouTube, there isn't as much time. And if you if you rush and you make a product that isn't uh, as as polished as you'd like it to be, it's going to wind up turning out like my One Direction video, which I thought was very funny, but the sound mixing was rushed and it sounded awful. I really don't want to make products that are rushed and not enjoyable because of it. That being said, there's not going to be no videos coming out in the future. Uh, like next week, I do have a Doctor Who video coming out for the 50th anniversary, which I think you guys are really going to like. And I'll probably be doing some reviews and things like that in the future as well. I really do enjoy uh, all things nerdy, and I do want to share my opinions on them. Sometimes I like to nerd rage, and it's fun to watch that. I'll admit it. But Deadpool number one, a lot of people have been asking me to review it. I don't know why everyone associates me with Deadpool so much. You guys are weird. Now that being said, before I can review Deadpool number one, I really need to do a retrospective look back at the uh, other Deadpool ongoing that just ended so that this Marvel Now uh, Deadpool book could start up. The book that was written by Daniel Way for the past five years. What I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. Uh, a lot of people will know that Nate and I were not the biggest fans of Daniel Way, but we're actually, we dislike Daniel Way for different reasons. And that being said, we're probably not in the majority because the Deadpool book sold incredibly well under Daniel Way's penmanship. Uh, he basically brought Deadpool out of obscurity into a mainstream light. And now, sure, uh, Wolverine Origins did a lot of work for him. And also, there were people were marketing the character because he was going to be in a movie. But I really think that Daniel Way uh, made Deadpool accessible to new readers at the same time. But by making him more accessible, he also watered him down. And I think he really lost the part of Deadpool that really makes him an interesting character. And I'm sure you're thinking, well, Deadpool's really funny in the book. And yeah, he is. But that's not what makes him a unique and interesting character. He's really violent in the book, and it's really gratuitous. Yeah, Daniel Way got that right too, but that's also not the core of Deadpool's character. It's not what makes him unique and interesting to read. What makes Deadpool interesting to read is that he knows he's a comic book character. That's what every writer before him utilized to the nth degree. And I think that's really what makes him interesting. Is the fact that Deadpool has this sort of psychopathy, apparently, to the rest of the Marvel Universe. But he's really not crazy. He's actually right. He's the person who actually understands the universe for it is. And Daniel Way didn't utilize that at all. And I really feel like that is what was the biggest failure of the Deadpool book. Now, this isn't to say I didn't like any of the Deadpool book. Uh, in fact, some of uh, Daniel Way's penmanship was, was fantastic. I really liked the first issue of the X-Men arc. Uh, that was some of the best Deadpool writing I'd ever read. And that was written by Daniel Way. The rest of that arc wasn't so great. Uh, then there was also the dead arc. I rather like that arc. Uh, Deadpool trying to find a way to kill himself was really interesting. But again, it doesn't follow through. And the follow-up to that was really slow and really painful. That really shows what the, the book as a whole had as a problem. Is that it, it couldn't follow up on things. It would sort of drop things or take it too long. And it, you just don't want to read it anymore. And the end of the book really doesn't have a climax either. It sort of builds to nothing. It just sort of ends. Daniel Way was writing Deadpool for five years, and that's the end of his arc he decides to go with? Really? It was, it was pretty bad. But we're not here to talk about the old Deadpool book. We're here to talk about the new Deadpool book. Deadpool number one, the Marvel Now book. What did I think about it? Well, uh, let's start off with talking about the cover. Oh man, this cover is awesome. Deadpool fighting a giant dinosaur, shooting cats out of its mouth. That is the most absurd thing you will ever see. And man, does it prepare you for what's in the book. No, Deadpool doesn't actually fight the dinosaur that shoots cats out of its mouth. He does fight a dinosaur, but doesn't shoot cats out of its mouth. 
but the book is really, really absurd. And I think that's something that the book really has going for it. It's a fun, interesting read that doesn't take itself too seriously. The major plot of this book is uh, Deadpool is hired on by S.H.I.E.L.D. to hunt out and destroy evil, zombified U.S. presidents. That, in a nutshell, is what the story of the book is. And man, is it enjoyable. This book is smart. This book is witty. This book is hilarious. And it does it in a non-patronizing way. It, it puts the exposition in a nice flowing manner. Yes, it's an issue one, so they have to uh, cover some things again, you know, for new readers. That's the idea behind this Marvel Now thing, is to get new readers. And I will admit, I'm a little annoyed that it is in Marvel Now book. Deadpool going back down to number one probably means that Deadpool's never going to get to issue 100. Which, um, I'll admit, is a little bit upsetting. I would have liked to have seen Deadpool make it to issue 100 someday. And maybe this book will, or maybe they'll just reset it again. Or maybe people won't want to read it anymore. Who knows? It'll take another seven years to get there. But who knows? The book itself, the art is beautiful. The writing is really quick and fun. I had a great time reading this book. And I think you will too. If you give it a shot, can't recommend it enough. Sure, there was a little bit of exposition here and there, and the story wasn't that dense. But that's because it's an issue number one, and those things need to be addressed. I look forward to seeing what this writing and art team has to show us for the rest of the arc. One more thing before I go. A lot of people recently have asked me why I stopped doing the Deadpool commentaries. I don't know why there's such a surge of interest in it all of a sudden. But really, the reason I stopped doing the Deadpool commentaries is because I didn't think anyone was interested. Maybe I was wrong. If you're interested in seeing more Deadpool commentaries, just let me know. I'll put a comment in the video. I'd be more than happy to do more of them. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. And also, if there's anything you'd like me to review, uh, leave a leave a message or leave a comment or whatever. And if you have any opinions on it yourself, leave a video response. I always watch video responses and, and like interacting with you guys. So let me know, and I can't wait to hear from you.